So we only got so much time left. I'm gonna bring him up here. Give him a huge round of energy, a big round of applause. Go ahead and start now. How's everyone doing? Obviously great. We're all drunk. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. You gotta find one person. Come on. Yep, Pat. There's one. There's one thing I love about the holidays, which is pretty much every day for me, is uh, drinking. You can tell by my Irish rosy cheeks. I drink a lot. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, it does. Some people might consider it a problem. I say nay, because the first sign of alcoholism is admitting it. And I say no. It's not a problem. <laughs> I, I love drinking, as most of the people that have already left probably don't throw up. Love drinking as well. Uh, yeah, I've gotten to the point where I know exactly when I'm extremely drunk. I was at a bar the other day, which is every day. Um, and me and my friend Rob, we were drinking heavily, as usual. And uh, we saw this guy pass out in the bar. Typical old guy, pass out the bar, and in the show, of this. Awesome. At exactly 8.05 at night, which is ironic. So the, so the girls started climbing up top of him, taking pictures. Woo! Yeah! Old dude! The weird thing was she kept going like this. So then finally the old guy fell asleep. Boom! Hit his head into the girl's lap. She goes, oh! Oh! She just screamed. She went, oh, my balls! And then I realized I was staring at a dude the whole day. <laughs> Which was weird. He was, was really hot. It was weird. He had boobs, too. So, yeah, drinking's great. Except <laughs> the best of people. I drink so much. You know those like old Gatorade commercials where it's like black and white, the athletes are sweating, but their sweat is like color? And it's like blue Gatorade. Gatorade. Mine would just be like beer color. And instead of like shooting hoops or like, like I don't know, I'd be bowling and sweating. Or like it's like you play slow pitch softball and you sweat. I'm just trying it's a like Bud Light. That would be me. Another crazy thing that people drank at uh, Hurricane Irene. Boy, that was exciting. I really drunk at that one. Hurricane, I was thinking about that too. I was thinking about uh, making a Halloween costume about Hurricane Irene. I was just gonna Facebook all my friends, like, this is gonna be the most epic costume ever! Text them, call them. Facebook is a social media site. Do they use leaders in 15 <laughs> It's awesome. 
So I was in Ireland and I was drinking a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean every single hour of the day. And uh, I was at this bar, little town. All there was was the pub, the hostel I was staying in, a house, and a street light. <laughs> How there were so many people in this pub, I have no idea. So, me and my friends, we see this old guy at the end of the bar, and we're like, you know what, let's buy this guy with three teeth a whiskey. So we show him down to the end of the bar, and he just looks over, and he goes, I got you, I got you. I'm like, all right, cool, this guy's awesome. Right, so all my friends leave, and I'm just still drinking. He comes over to me, and he like, grabs him by the shoulder, he goes, you see this in your bar? I built it with my own two hands. I was like, whoa. <laughs> awesome, but weird. Okay. He goes, but they don't call me Bill the Bar Maker. I was like, alright, Bill, either I've drunk too much or you're like a real guy. And I gotta go. <laughs> so I'm walking down the street to my hostel and I see, like, past this pier where there's like a bunch of ships that come in and he catches up to me and taps me on the shoulder again. He goes, you see that there, Doc? I built it with your own two hands. <laughs> But they don't call me Bill the Talk Maker. I was like, whoa, are you? I'm gonna cover my butthole right now. Because you were getting way too close. So I keep walking and I see the house, the one house next to the hostel again. Tap on my shoulder. I'm like, what, Bill? He goes, you see that there house? I built it with me own two hands. And I was like, yes, but they call you Bill the House Maker. He's like, right? But you fuck one goat. <laughs> They call him Bill the Goat Fucker. You didn't get it. Well, that's all the time I have for all of you. Thank you very much.